So we're at the Human Rights Watch Film Festival in London. I'm speaking to Mimi Chakarova, who's the director of The Price of Sex, which is on here today. Uh, Mimi, could you tell us a little bit about this film, what it's about? The film is about uh, sex trafficking and young women from Eastern Europe who were taken from their villages, who were duped, offered legitimate jobs, and then trafficked and sold against their will into prostitution in um, destination countries such as Turkey, Greece, the United Arab Emirates. Those were the three destination countries that I focused on in the documentary. And you clearly knew uh, about this subject as a native Bulgarian, but um, what surprised you in making this film? What, what did you find out when you were actually making it? What surprised me is how many women um, had survived the sex trade, but also were living in a state of silence and how long it took to gain their trust in order for them to talk about what had happened to them. I never expected that in some cases it would take as long as four years of building a relationship with a woman before she would agree to go on camera. And um, everyone has a, an opinion about prostitution. It's, it's you know, one of these things that has been around for ages. What um, did you learn about the lives of prostitutes? You know, I, I, we have to be very careful not to mix sex slavery with prostitution. Even though the women engage in this type of work and they're forced into this type of work, the idea of, of people referring to them as prostitutes instead of what they truly are, which is, you know, victims of sex trafficking and sex slaves, they're two entirely different distinctions. Because you're right, prostitution has existed since the beginning of time. But now what you have, and also slavery has existed since the beginning of time, but you also have women who are not signing up for this type of job. They're not interested. They're not, they never envision themselves working as prostitutes and servicing clients. So you have this new phenomenon, especially from Eastern Europe in the last 20 years since the collapse of communism, of women being sold into this against their will. And what you find is the, the human degradation of the spirit the way that they're broken down, and then how difficult it is for them to recover from this experience, as you can imagine. And um, these are tough questions. Um, you know, how did you emerge from the process? Did you find this depressing? You find it depressing, but you also have to find hope. And you don't make a film unless you feel that there is the possibility to change things. Um, and you have to choose your format. I'm a photojournalist, so I started with photo documentation, which then grew into multimedia, which then grew into a documentary film. So each time I exhausted my tool, and then I thought this needs to evolve. I'm not going to just end because my tool has reached its limitation. I'm going to expand on this. And the best way to reach people, which is why you're doing what you're doing, is the internet and television. And I thought if I were to make a documentary film, this could be online, as well as on television throughout the world in film festivals. It's the best way that you can reach millions of people and inform them and educate them. So it is depressing. It's a depressing subject matter, but you have to turn it around. You have to think about how can you take this information as a journalist and give people credible information and give them the tools that they need to make their own decisions as to how they can get involved in this and fight against it. And this is tough stuff. These are really tough issues. Um, why is it that you know people in the street, uh, ordinary people, why, why do you think they should come and see the, par the price of sex? They should come and see the price of sex to learn, to educate themselves, and also to get out of their comfort zone. It's so easy to stay in that bubble of blissful ignorance. But I think you have to be aware of what's around you, and this is something which affects every single community. This is not just about women in Eastern Europe. This happens here in London, this happens in New York City, this happens in Paris, in Berlin, in North Africa, in China. This is a global issue that people need to be aware of. And you'll be surprised how few people know how the system of trafficking truly works. So come, see a film, get an idea of, okay, now I understand the level of corruption, now I understand how complicated it is to solve it, and do more research as well. Thank you very much indeed, Mimi. So this is Patrick Chalmers with Vision on TV in London signing off.